Uh, I have also used time to <coughs> to put rule on on the saddles uh, and on gibs. Uh, these are the gibs uh, normally used, and this will be then with rule on. Of course, now this completely um, just glue them on. Just glue. So two of those for these two saddles. And um, I've um, clamped it to be able to to put rule on the on the rear side here. And this will also be my attempt to make it like a, uh, a rear guide saddle. Let me put that thickness of rule on, which I have this to my calculations seems to 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 make it. So then I've uh, clamped it. There temporarily by just inserting the, the gib again and then screw this tight so I locked it down so to speak and then clamped it like that. That was my take on it. So then I have two two saddles and two beds here. The beds here are uh, as you see uh, with the also with the saddles. They are scraped flaked you can call them that so that's my my treatment on the on the on the top side as opposed to this one which is of course then just round Really just to flatten it out before um, scraping. So you can probably see where I have been and haven't been. So, uh, anyway, yeah. it's, it's a trial effort. Now I have milled the rule on, and I guess I can measure how much I took off. Two hundreds. Two, <laughs> twenty hundreds, I mean. So if that was like, say, one mil, I would take off one fifth. A little bit too much, but anyway, that's um, as much as it took to, um, to even it out. Okay, zero. Zero there. And zero there. So, which means that these measurements are correct. It's too high here, so I have to go from a sense of happy medium here. Then, maybe not all the way down, but we'll see. Uh, this time, I'm glad I took the, the thick rule on because I've been sloppy, so I had to mill off quite a bit. So, um, off went 20 30 percent almost of the layer. But now we can see uh, still high there.
I'm over at the one or two markers using that as a template. So I'm applying a little bit more blue with that type of a roller, just a sponge roller, and then I'm more brushing, evening it out. And this harder, and then I'm sprayer, you might call it, feeling for dust. I've blown off this one. Applying it. It uh, has a rule on there, so it's going to be like this. I can also, so I certainly have every area with me, or all the area with me. So, lightly press it down. Just a little bit loose here. As is evident. It's a little bit on the loose, on the low side up here. And also down here you can see. But else it's... Um, it's coming along great, really, from the start. So not too much work left now. So here we go with my taut pattern again, and how I test it uh, when I scrape. In this case, I have, as you remember, I have milled the, on the sides now put it on blocks, verify that these are flat to the plate and do this uh, here now. You can see the how the rule on also depth of cut and I relieve the middle. Maybe I relieved it a little bit too much but at least relieve the middle. The same goes for all these parts. And I, measure of course four spots here and then also on the on the bed which i measure when you blew it up i also measure these four spots but it's flat. I know it's flat. And then neither tilting that way nor that way. <coughs> Aside from the course uh, measuring that the four corners are equal, I will do this test. In this case finding out that this corner is a little bit low or doesn't have the same contact surface helps to well, helps in the process so here is one of the other saddles and uh, it blew up like this the first time so a little bit around here and here here so being high there but I would like to confirm that, so at least what I do then, I sit this on here, and I zero it, it's getting lower. Well, not by much. Uh, almost the same. And from this side, it should be then the lower side. Which it is, but not by much. Only a couple of hundreds. Uh, 
Oh, more this way. See? So, so over here again, just uh, confirming my readings. So I prove it flat here first. Zero. And zero here also. Careful. Now zero or plus one. zero there so then we know it's flat so I take it down here to that level zeroing it here and this is plus four so going in roughly zero here is minus one and then this is plus one so not much zero and then just see how much these are and they are not much zero there these are plus three zero there so this is plus three same as here plus three so I can confirm that I will take down these blue areas here that's good so nearly there <coughs> on the second saddle this area here has filled in now this is yet to come but so a couple of more uh, strokes I hope or cycles it's flat all right so um, some more work and then we leave a little bit in the middle then we're there it is beginning to take uh, shape now so I'm beginning to hit all over and um, it's flat so I'm um, starting to see the end of this also